Hello everybody, my name is Herman Kamp and I'm an instructor at Juniper Networks Educational Services. Welcome to this learning bite about password recovery for the CTP product. There are a couple of things you should know before I will demonstrate the actual process. The process described will only apply to the CTP150 and CTP2000 devices if operating CTPOS 6.x. So please do not try to use this on products running CTPOS 4 or 5. The information provided in this learning byte is also available in Knowledge Base article KB21452. Obviously, you do require console access to your CTP device in order to be able to perform the next 11 steps of password recovery. So once you have your console connections and your terminal tool in place, you can power up the CTP. When the group loader is displayed, press E to enter edit mode. The group loader is recognizable by a border of special characters. Then you have to press the down arrow key once, followed by enter. And then you have to press E again. Give it some time in between so that the screen can refresh. When you have pressed E for the second time, you will see a prompt that looks very similar to the prompt displayed in step two. Grub edit, larger than sign, and then kernel. And then all the stuff behind it should be exactly the same. Then you have to press the space bar, followed by init equals slash bin slash bash. Wait for the screen to refresh that you know for sure that the whole text string is there and being displayed. And then press enter. Wait for the screen to refresh again. And then type B to continue the boot process. Once the boot process has finished, you will see a prompt with bash 2.05 B dollar sign. The numbers in this prompt may differ and that's depending on the version of the bash. Then for the next steps, 5 till 10, we're going to have a look at the next slide. And there we see that we have to mount a few things. Important here are the spaces. So slash bin slash mount space minus n space proc space slash proc space minus t space proc and then enter. And the next line is slash bin slash mount. Again a space then in capitals label equals ctp underscore root space and then slash flash root then the system is ready to receive a password change so you request that with password which is written p a double s w d then it requests for a new password and it requests to retype the new password and then it should confirm with a uh, message all authentication tokens updated successfully. Note that the system might give you a bad password message. That does not mean your password uh, is bad. It actually is entered and accepted, but it's not meeting the uh, security requirements. So you should know that next time when you change it, it should be a stronger password. But for now, we keep it simple. Then we have to finish up with a copy command cp space slash etc slash shadow space slash flash underscore root slash etc slash shadow enter and then slash bin slash u mount to unmount space slash flash underscore root and the last option that we enter is the reboot command slash s bin slash reboot space minus f. The minus F is important here, as without the minus F it will give you a message that reboot is not the preferred and supported command. But in this case of a password recovery, it is the command that we have to use and to enforce it we use the minus F. So that's the theory, so let's have a look at it on the CLI. So here we are at the CLI, the CTP box is booting, we have to pay attention now. There's our grub loader. I pressed E and I'm in edit mode. 
you'll see it's kind of refreshing the screen constantly so I do press the down key followed by enter and then I press E again and you see now the prompt changes to the prompt as in step 2 with the grub edit larger than sign kernel and the rest of it is exactly the same as in step 2 so the next thing we have to do is press space followed by init equals slash bin slash bash we wait for the screen to refresh so that all the text is there then we press enter we let it refresh once again and then we press B to continue the boot process that takes a little while it looks very similar to the boot process in a normal boot and if you've done something wrong in the previous steps you might not end up with um, the bash prompt so you have to be patient until you see either the bash prompt or a regular login prompt there we go there's our bash prompt so now we have to type our commands so the first uh, commands are the mounting commands so we have a slash bin slash mount space minus n space proc space slash proc space minus t space proc that's one then we have a slash bin slash mount space in capitals label equals ctp underscore root space slash flash underscore root and then we can request the password change so we do p a double s w d we type our new password i do deliberately a not a so strong password root root and then you see you get the message because your password is not that strong that it is a bad password and it is too short but nevertheless it accepted it and it gives the confirmation that all authentication tokens updated successfully so now we have to wrap it up with a copy command cp space slash etc slash shadow space slash flash underscore root slash etc slash shadow there we go and then we do an unmount slash bin slash u mount space slash flash underscore root and we do a slash s bin slash reboot space minus f and there we go you hear the beep in the background of the system restarting now that's of course taking a little while again because we see the um, grub loader passing by as we've not interrupted the process we see that it now continues with a uh, boot and as you can tell it looks very uh, similar of course so you do not directly recognize that uh, we're doing a regular uh, boot now uh, compared to the interrupted and modified boot that would bring us to the bash prompt getting closer to the end and almost there and there we have a login so we can now log in ctp underscore cmd the default password ctp underscore cmd but now when I do a su for super user or better said root access and I type in my root password you see I now have root access here at the bottom so that makes this a successful password recovery for a CTP device. Thank you for uh, joining me. 
and hope to see you on the next one. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.